congratulations. You got a video interview. A video interview or VI is the thing that is in the third step of applying for an airline. The first is your application. The second is usually an assessment. And the third is the video interview. If you made it to the video interview, that usually means that you've passed the first two steps. So congratulations. I've seen a lot of people post on YouTube their video interviews, which I would recommend not doing that. You don't want to post confidential information of an interview through a company. But let me tell you what you can do to prepare yourself for your interview. First, I need you to go on glassdoor.com and I need you to research the potential questions you might be asked on the video interview. A lot of people anonymously post the questions that they were asked. Now, there will be a list of questions. They will vary. It's not necessarily the ones that they have are the ones that they ask. They always shake them up a bit. Once you have those questions, the next thing you need to do is either put them on a document on your computer or write them on a piece of paper and you need to write out your answers because you want to understand your thought process and think of ideas and scenarios that would match the answer to those questions. And in those questions, when you think of scenarios, make sure you're highlighting your specific skills that match the flight attendant requirements. Go ahead, get all dressed up, put on some makeup if you're a female or if you're a male, get in front of your camera and practice. A lot of people don't necessarily do video and that is okay. Digital age has changed us a lot, but there are quite a few people that might not be comfortable with just talking to a camera like I'm doing right now. So what you want to do is just film yourself answering a question on your phone. It's okay. Nobody needs to see it. Don't post it to Facebook. Don't do a live. Don't post it to YouTube. Just practice. I used to teach public communications and practice was the thing I always told my students. Once you've practiced, now it's time to set up your camera. All right, so you're ready to click that button to start your video interview. Make sure that you can see yourself, that you have good lighting, and that there's nothing in the background that is distracting. As you can see behind me, I've got a teddy bear and he's just sitting in a chair and then I've got my piano with a couple little things on it. Very clean, not distracting at all. Try not to do your video in your bathroom, bathroom's echo. Try also not to do your video in your bedroom. What happens in the locations that you are the most, you tend to not be as neat as say the living room. So we might not notice when we walk in our bedroom that there's clothes on the floor because there's always clothes on the floor. However, the camera will notice and the people watching you will notice. So try not to go to your bedroom. Try not to do it in the bathroom. Try to, if you can't make a nice pretty background or you don't have a room like I have, make sure it's a blank wall. Go somewhere that's quiet. Make sure there's no noise. Tell your spouse or your partner or your children that you're about to tape. Throw them in the basement, throw them outside, do something. Make sure your animals aren't going to disturb you and make sure there's no deliveries with a doorbell ringing. If you're doing this from a desktop, turn off your phone. You don't want your phone to interrupt your interview as well. Make sure you have good lighting. Now, they always say that make sure you have natural light. As you can see, I have natural light coming out of my window, but my desk isn't at the natural light. So I happen to have what is called a Ricky mirror. A Ricky mirror is similar to like a ring light and I will show you. It has the lights right here. I can brighten them. And as you can see, it gives my face a better glow. No light makes it harder to see you. If you're gonna use your phone and you can use your phone, make sure you have a stand. You do not want to hold your phone throughout the whole interview because what will happen is your camera will start to shake. So make sure you have a stand that you can stand, put your phone in and stand and have it sit there looking at you while you're doing your interview. Remember to look at the camera. Okay, I'm looking at the camera, right? But guess what? In my peripheral vision, I see myself on the screen. So make sure you're not looking at yourself because when you're looking at yourself on the screen, this is what you get. Someone who is not giving eye contact and not looking at the camera. All right, did you get all that down? Go ahead and rewatch it if you need to. So you're ready. All you have to do is take a deep breath. <sighs> Make sure that everything on your clothing is straightened out. You don't have any lipstick all over your face. Your frizzies are down. Ladies, hint. Make sure your hair is up and then press record. Good luck. I hope you get to the next step.